I'm coming on with week 13 of Kerry's Prompts. Um, if you'd like to go and join in, you can use the hashtag Kerry's Prompts and make something from the cards that she draws. Um, she also sells the cards in her shop and she does the stencils and a lot of other different things there as well. So this week she's drawn three cards out. I'll insert a picture now. So what I'm thinking is the colours are pink, mint, dark blue, a little bit of buff or cream beige in there. There's some dots and arrows in there on the cards. There's button, a button, some collage and a face. So we're going to try and do something with them. No idea again what I'm making. I've got some baby wipes here. I've got one of Kerry's stencils here and I'm going to go in with this stencil and uh, this background I believe is gouache paint. It looks and feels like gouache paint and I'm sure it is. So this should come off a bit so it gives it that pattern. Yeah, it is. So we're going to pull some of that background colour off. This is quite hard because now my journal's getting fuller. It's on a dip in the middle. So it's quite hard. It won't go flat because it's so full, you see. So we're going to try and get that lovely stencil look like this one it's all swirly There we go. It's very nice. Now there's a bit of pink there. That'll go in there. And some white in it as well. And I think I'm going to tear some of that. So, yeah. I'm going to tear a nice piece of that off. I know it's got some green in it, but... I want a nice thickish piece. Don't know where I want it though. I think you know what I'm gonna do is pull it there. I'm gonna stick it in there. I did want to put some other collage bits on there, but Like that. And I want to get this piece in somewhere. Yeah. Just so we can start building it. There. was a bit on here that I really wanted on there but not the bottom piece I'm thinking and I don't want to cover that up now I've got this lady here see that's more or less how I want it want it to be like that um 
I don't think I can open my big cupboard glue. Um, I'm gonna try. Give me a photo. This is my big tub of glue. And sometimes with my hands pretty sore. And it is today because I've been lifting heavy stuff. I just can't open it usually. So yeah, this is just glue and water in there. But my, I've hurt my hand lifting things you see and uh it's really sore on this because this state this paintbrush is about to fall off um so yeah my hands are really really sore at the moment and i've got to be careful of it because i've done this last year with the other hand um, and I had to go to the doctors and he said that if it doesn't go away then I'd have to have surgery. Well it did go away but I've now I've done it with the other hand. So um, I've got to rest it but I'm not resting it and I should be. Right. Get it back there. Let's it like that. It just go over the top of it to seal it. We've just got to leave that to dry for a minute. Now I've only got another small piece left, so I might as well just use that up. I've just got to tear the thing off of it. Right, there we go. Right, so I'll go and wash my brush. Put my lid on. Actually, need to just wipe my lid around. I'll do that quickly now. Right, so I've got this picture of her, and I was going to put her, her into this, um, which I'll just do with this. I should have done it with the other glue, couldn't I? If I had it longer. It doesn't matter, I'll just stick it down with this, that's fine. That's down. Take a brush. I've got some buff acrylic paint. Um, I'm going to do, we're allowed to do arrows or dots. So what I was thinking, I may have to turn this to do that thinking about doing some arrows. I hope I don't mess this up. do some dots here and there and that's a lot easier than the arrows <laughs> it makes it all come together a bit as well and I don't know what I'm gonna do over that part yet but I'm gonna put some dots up here I'm going to throw some large dots around all throughout that bit. I've got a, quite a bit of paint on here now, so... I might as well use some of it. We'll have it going in together. The 
It's quite relaxing doing this. I'm thinking I've got to stop because I'm going to have too many dots. But I don't want to stop. <laughs> so, don't do any more dots. Keep that bit of paint for something else. <laughs> so I'm just going to find some words to put on it this time. It's uh, sort of dry now. So that says live your life and then I've got some more words here um, I'm going to put that there and that down there so in all, all of it it says live your life with passion and then I've got this little cute cat There is a little tiny, um, you know Snoopy and Peanuts, there's a little tiny Peanuts. I should put him in because he's cute. There we go, that's on. That paint's still wet, just caught it. There we go. Um, I think that's enough on that now. Um, I don't really need any pens on there. Or anything else I don't think so it'll be too too much I've got so many dots going on so we've got her there going down with her lovely shoes on and live your life with passion gorgeous little cat with green eyes and I'm going to call that Done, if I can get this camera there I'm gonna call that done for the prompt for now which one was it week 13 right guys I didn't finish quite then because I forgot to add the buttons so what I've done is I've colored some paper with some watercolor gone round it in like a stitch design and some little little um, circles for like the buttons and I've put, made these little buttons to go on it, all over the place so um, yeah I think how many's on there there's five or six buttons sorry I didn't see that one down there then but yeah there's six buttons on there that I've added into the picture so this was a bit later this was actually the next day so I thought I'd go outside and show you, because it had been raining yesterday and it's clearer today, show you what it's like from outside so you can see it better. And um, yeah, that's all finished now. Okay, so that's all done. So I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Bye.